Okay. Hi, Floss Tube. This is Floss Tube. Colleen. And Cheryl. Hi, Floss Tube. Okay, so one, two, three. Hi, Floss Tube. This is Colleen. And I'm Cheryl. And I'm Cole. And you're stitching with the Cirly. Plus one. And the Cole. Uh, Teresa was hoping Cole. Cole would come. Um, that's hi. it. Hi, hi, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were giving her bad time yesterday. Uh, so, how about life? What's been going on? Well, Cheryl? why don't you start with life? Oh, I've I've just been. I'm in Boise. Um, Cheryl, <laughs> she can't stand being away from me. I miss you. You keep freezing though. One of her best friends. You're frozen. She froze. You froze. You froze. Internet. Yours does. You nope. froze. Not anymore. It says it's fine. It's fine. It just said it was unstable for a minute. Okay. Now you're no. She's just bling. She's there. <laughs> okay, and that's my life. Been playing ping pong with Saya. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, stitching, sewing, quilt or piecing, and winning. Winning? You'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> the reason I laugh. <laughs> okay, Cole, what about your life? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Same, probably as last time I was on, just working and trying to enjoy summer as much as we can, stuck at home and doing what we can in, you know, quarantine. And Saya went swimming. We did. We have, I have him in like some private swimming lessons. Oh, and I so, see. Um, yeah, it's a, this lady that we know and she has a pool in her backyard. And so high chlorine and all that kind of stuff. Super, super safe. That way, I, was, I was so excited because the gym said that they were opening up and then, but not for swimming which is what I do there. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were saying that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know. we wouldn't go to a public pool at this point. And we actually, there's a water park here and we we have season passes for that and we're not using them. We've transferred them to next year and hopefully it's better then, but yeah. um, private it was a little bit different. And so um, I felt like it was a little bit safer. Well, good. And that gets him out next year. What, what stage is Oregon at? What stage is Oregon at now? I think we're back to one. I think one? we've never but left. No, restaurants are open. You can't go, have gone back if restaurants are open. I don't know what we're at. What I are we at? In Boise. I think we're in four. I think that's what the governor said yesterday. Is we're so you can have big four. meetings and everything? No, I think everything's still like 50% in the restaurants and um, they're the schools are, are being left up to the local school districts, so yeah. we'll just have to wait and see. Um, yeah. We generally, we start, school starts at the end of August, and my son plays football, and so I'm kind of bummed for him because I don't know necessarily that he's going to get to play this year, and it's his eighth grade year, so oh, I really kind of stayed for him. But, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So when I do that, let me be done with life. We'll just see. She's checked us off on her list, so we're apparently done with life. Oh, you're done with life. She's Am I do done life. with life? Yeah. No. I, I'm done with life too. Oh, no, you've not started. I know. And you have done. You have a lot to tell us. So your life. What's going on, Cheryl? Um, my life is this. But you can tell us. And this. <laughs> so. Um, we retired from our tree service, mostly. <laughs> I believe it when I see it. <laughs> yeah, we were it's talking about than it. When you had me to go to your that website. I mean, he had me close the website down and get rid of the phone, so there's no more phone. Yeah. So he's it's just his cell phone. So it's clients who know him, and uh, right. Which you've been talking about for a while for him to do. 
Yeah. But so he scared. had he had like a major problem with his elbow since you've been gone. And it like oh, swelled no. up like huge, like a big baseball. And um it was oh. just all liquid, which is so gross because Ew. like your knee does, like it. your knee does. Yeah. Ew. And he poked it to go. Oh. No, Ed. No, yes. don't do yeah. that. So finally, I, today I had to go to the doctor to get some blood tests done. I was talking to her about it, and she goes, tell Ed, do not do surgery on himself. <laughs> he does. Right? He even takes it away from the doctor, remember? He takes away the whatever it was. that. <laughs> yeah. And now Ed is, um, now I'm learning all about Medicare because he got his book. And yes. he's, so now I'm studying up on that. And... Let's see what else have I been doing. I gave you pictures of the yard, and we've been working. And I have to post those. Right? You want me to post those, don't you? Yeah, we've been okay. working like mad people. <laughs> but um, it's fun. It's been fun working on it. And then um, our oldest son is moving back to California. So that's happy for them, sad for us. California? Um, what was that? California? Yeah. Yeah. So um, we just figure, I was talking to Sarah today, um, and she's like, I just don't know how we're ever going to retire. I said, yeah, you don't retire in California. Yeah. <laughs> That's just not yeah. where you retire. <laughs> no. I wouldn't think, but then who do we, what do we know? You know. Yeah. Well, you have to make a lot to yeah. retire there. So. Yeah. So anyway, it's a exciting adventure for them. Yeah, yeah. Go back where you came from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the kids, oh, the older crazy. three are not. The older Even the three, same area. The older three are not real excited. Yeah. yeah. So um, we're just praying that they have a smooth transition. Well, they have the younger brother over there, and all and the. They're really things. excited to have their cousins. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to move. Like we, my parents moved us like right before my ninth grade year and we moved from the Midwest to here to Idaho and it's tough. It's just tough. You know, yeah. it's a tough transition to make and you just hope that, you know, you can get in and find some friends and adjust right. and acclimate to the differences and culture. Like for, for me, it was quite a bit of a culture shock. And so right. Um, right. there was some adjustment that had to be done there too, but yeah. They're they're smart and they're strong and yeah, oh, yeah. You know, they're and more resilient than we think. Yeah, absolutely. I remember when I moved from California to Idaho. It was Caldwell, Idaho, but I just thought, oh wow, this is the country. And or even when I moved to Washington State, it was like I'm in the country because you know we're from the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah. Guam, that was a culture shock. That was yeah. a big culture shock. It's also the only place in the world I can tan. So. <laughs> But yeah, yeah and, then, and then I also found out that after going to the doctor today that I definitely have sleep apnea. So that'll be a whole nother journey I'm going to go on. <laughs> so interesting. It'll be interesting. Yeah. But that's why you gasp awake. I do that too. But I do it at night. I don't do it on naps. I you do, do it, it on naps. But I'm doing it so often now that it was actually kind of scaring me. So, but it's I, good that you were doing it. I mean, because that was keeping you alive. If you wouldn't have, because you stopped breathing, and that's why you gasped for air. Well, and she was saying what happens is your brain goes into fight or flight mode and it like wakes you up immediately because yeah. it knows yeah. you're not breathing. So yeah. I'm, yeah, it's I'm super taxing on your heart too. So make right. sure you get that taken care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited. In fact, she was saying my blood pressure will probably because I take such a little blood pressure medicine. She yeah, said your too. blood pressure will probably go down to nothing. It'll be normal yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. So she said so much gets involved in that that you don't realize. And, so. and then and then Sarah and I don't have to keep you entertained on the phone when you're driving oh man no kidding that's the worst yeah. part i mean yeah. honestly feeling like you might be a detriment on the road to somebody because you can't it is. keep awake and is probably awful. on your license now it'll say sa for sleep apnea oh sa 
oh. apnea. Oh, I was thinking of the CPAP. What do you, oh, on the well, license. Well, but those are nice. My, my boss or my manager at Microsoft, he said it changed his whole life. He doesn't go anywhere without it. He could travel because they're smaller now. Yeah. Mark wouldn't do it because, you know, he's like, well, first of all, Mark had no patience and always pulled off things. Well, <laughs> I know? didn't so, realize that it has nothing. She said, like, you're, like, you have oxygen saturation, you know, mm -hmm. you do problems. Yeah, and she said sometimes that's the reason why you have sleep apnea, but sometimes, but most of the time, it's just that your throat literally collapses yeah. in on itself. Yeah, and, and I think you've had that ever since you were little. That's I think what I was telling before. her. Yeah, and she said it might just be the way that you're that you're created right here, and so she said yeah. it actually. And mom, mom always thought it was uh, your. She said the CPAP machine actually just pushes it enough that it'll open up that area mm -hmm. so you can actually get air. Yeah. So I'm excited. I Mom like air. Mom thought it was your tongue because they're adenoid. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I do too. Good. Air's good. Yeah, I like yep. air. <laughs> so do you still have your tonsils and adenoids or did mom take them out? No, she took them out and it didn't solve yeah, anything. See, yeah, she thought it would, but it didn't. Yeah. So. Anyway, and then you've been working in the yard. Yeah. And, we'll still and our okay, chickens I think have done. An... Oh, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. 13 minutes in. Yeah. What was the other thing? Didn't get uh, COVID tested. She would have tested you, Cheryl, if she thought you needed COVID testing. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she would have. Yeah. Um, but the check for antibodies. Yeah, right. I uh, well, she they she is doing one test um, that I don't. She said I'm doing one extra test on you, and I don't know what that test is. So it could be. Oh. Um, but well, she needs to tell you. Rika, Rico, Rico, Rico is going to become broth. Yep, Rico's too uh, intense. He's attacking I like his, I like his... everybody, including the chickens. So yeah. really, yeah. So he has Just to go bye bye. Huh? Pardon me. Yeah. Bye, Rico. <laughs> yeah, but he'll make really um, good dinner. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> I will not have anything chicken related ever at your house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Funny. So this is a channel about cross stitch and other things that have to do with fiber art and our lives. Um, Cheryl is coming up here what next week up yep, to Boise week. to visit with her to visit with her friends Wendy and John. Yep. And so that'll be I fun. I am so and excited to leave the house. Yeah, we'll see if you do. I thought Wendy was excited to leave her house. I thought she was coming to you. She was, what but then mean? then he saw well, <laughs> you were surprised I'm gonna leave. I'm surprised you're surprised I'll leave. He said, "John, John sold his airplane. Leave. John sold the one. No, airplane. I know you'll leave. Oh, uh, I thought they were flying to McCall. Oh, they are. That's so, another airplane. Oh, they have oh. another airplane. So there, and he's also doing some photography work for the National Guard. National Guard. Um, oh, oh, what is it? National Geographic. People. National Geographic." Yeah. Oh, no, I, I, I'm not. I'm not surprised you're going to leave. I'm surprised you're coming to her when she said she needed to get out of the house and wanted to come to oh, you. Oh, I think we both Boston. just need entertainment. Other yeah. than our husbands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Need a little bit of a break. <laughs> anyway, I think we're close to 46. Let's Yay! start with finish it. Finishes. Cheryl, do you have any finishes? I do not. Cole? You have this, this one. So I finished the stuff. Oh, yeah. A while ago. This is, this is a little house needlework suffragette. Yep. And yeah, it we're looks doing great. a sal on this. I modified it a little. I was going to say it, it did like different. Money up here instead of whatever else was up there. I think some more stars or whatever, but. Yep, that's mine. You did the 2020. 
I said I did 1920 and then 2020. Yeah, and yeah. Both, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and that we're doing a sell on that, and the hashtag for that is hashtag SWTS suffrage. I think. Um, I don't have any cross stitch finishes, but you have. But I have. So I did the Lincoln Museum quilt. And it looks like it's supposed to look like so. It's got all different kinds of colors, but you know me in colors. <laughs> so wow, my colors. So, so let me guess what color: brown and blue. Brown, blue, beige. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Of but anyway, it's um, oh, it's beautiful. Like that. It's um, many, many, it's, it fits a queen size bed with lots of hangover. Uh, and I could even like tuck my Wait, pillow. You remember how you have, have the hangover? It yeah, it, it, it hangs over. I thought maybe you had a hangover. It'll hang bed. over. It hangs over the, oh no, from what? <laughs> <laughs> so that is that. Beautiful. Oh, and then I have another little finish. Because, hold on, hold on, holding, hold, please, hold, please, yeah. holding. Can you guys see the dogs in the back? Lincoln. There's Lincoln. Bye, Lincoln. <laughs> We're Scout. There's Scout. I got a new puppy. That's my puppy, Scout. He's a Hi, Labradoodle. Scout. He's super fun. He's about seven months and crazy. And uh, Archie's somewhere. I don't know where Archie is. Running the fence, probably. They he's right like here. Come out from under no, he's floor. right here. Yeah. Oh. 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 Cheryl tries to steal my dog every time she sees him. She <laughs> want Scout or Ed will. Um, yeah. Lori Holt had a tutorial on these needle. Oh, books. yeah. So yeah. I made one with the leftover. Um, it has a little tab there so you could put, you know, whatever you want up here. So and, cute. And, and, I, I stuck, I didn't have, at the time, I didn't have um, off-white uh, lace, so I yeah. ordered some from Amazon and um, stuck it in my coffee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then it, it, has, it has little pockets, so like I put my scissors in it. Cute! So do whatever you want. I applicate a little heart on there, but I think you ordered some wool or something. Some felt. felt. And then you can put your pins in here. Very cute. Then I have my needle minder here with another pocket. Yeah. So, oh, and then in the, the other cool thing is you could put a small spool of thread there. I like the binding aspect. Yeah. And I'll link below the tutorial on how to make these. But um, I'll show you my haul because I got, and some stitch of kindness because I got some more lace that's really cool. Ah, super cute. They look very simple to make. Yeah, yeah, just fun. Good at because your lower you went, you know, like an eighth inch. Yeah. No, not an eighth. But anyway, she she quilted it straight, the straight lines, and my, I did one with straight lines that looked like I should have had a hangover by the time I. Was <laughs> <laughs> funny. So, um, okay, so that is finishes, right? Yeah. Okay, I have to mark off the gun. <laughs> really? Okay. Whips. Cheryl, do you have any whips? Medicare. Oh, this is you. what I'm working on. I'm very disappointed in you. You should be. I mean, I put three stitches in one thing, but that's all I got before I got called away. Uh, yeah, I know. I was saying, I, I was wrote on Instagram, I'm amazed how fast I can piece a quilt and how slow I am at stitching. <laughs> and then, but I still relax, I decide, because then I start panicking for some reason, thinking I need to stitch faster, because some people really stitch fast. And I'm like, then I don't enjoy it. So I just right. take my time. Yeah. And if I only get, like you said, a few stitches in, that's yeah. what it is. And you even gave me a couple extra days. And I know. I still <laughs> didn't have a finish. 
But Cole has Cole has some whips. Yeah, two. Oh, good. All my attacks fine. So I'm, I'm doing, I think I've shown this before, but this is the heart and hand moon and back one. This, um, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah. 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 That one. So I've been working on this one a, a bit. It's really not as, it's fast. It's a fast stitch, but I don't actually spend a whole lot of time on it. But um, I didn't, like, my fabric is smaller than what it counted for. So I think this is 25 thread count. And so I ran out of, I wasn't going to have room to do it in a straight line. So I just dropped it down to finish it so oh, yeah instead, instead, of, of, being... instead of doing like one full straight right. line like that i just am gonna drop it down and do it that way but it's yeah. looking really good i'm really liking the way that it's turning out so good yeah. that's fun yeah someday i'll finish that i don't know if and then i'll you finish have it before one. you leave but yeah well that's because i've been cracking the whip on her with some whips Not really. me. yeah <laughs> well you off it's you know. true i did off I did off. Okay, and then the other one that I'm working on is the one that mom is doing for the stitch along. It's the a mistletoe, mistletoe lane. lane. Oh, right. Cheryl's doing this too. And this is um, a cell with Fat Quarter Shop, and it is hashtag M I S, it's hashtag mistletoe lane. That's A L. And I'm going to cover, I started on the second thing. Yes, so I'm gonna Which cover releases, the bottom of it. releases and the part two releases tomorrow, so you don't get to see that. But I finished part one, so that's there. Nice. Got that all done. Yeah. Very nice. What are you looking at? <laughs> Jokes. But I've definitely <laughs> what? Notes. No. Jokes. On what? Oh my. jokes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so she's pre-planning. I've definitely found that with this one um you know if you're not already doing it this way and you're you're working on this one i just did it up to the red to where the m started and then i did mary and then i backfilled the red and then i did to, to the c and then i did christmas so otherwise like trying to count all that out which is yeah. why i think i, sometimes I feel like it's a nightmare lost. yeah right say, how can i get lost yeah so whatever works best for you but i think that that flows better for me yeah okay my whips my whips are as follows. <laughs> as follows. <laughs> there goes um, Scout. I guess we'll do this one first because I can't find my paper. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. I did a bunch of dehydrating this on. week. Oh, oh, cool. Yep. I am working on John Hancock. And Very nice. somebody else is doing this. Um, this little little house needle works to early Americans, and I've done Betsy Ross already. She's in there somewhere, and I keep is she upside down? Yeah, <laughs> and I've had to, I keep messing up <laughs> on my border, what but did it you looks do? like it's gonna match this time. She oh, keeps you mean getting you her off in your number. So she's like, she's yeah, I, she's no, dropping the I was line. off in the, no, I was off in a stitch, like a half a stitch. Oh, and so, awful. yeah, yeah. So, and then I was off more than a line. And the only way it would be straight is if I went like that. And you know, I am good at doing that. That's how I hang pictures. If you tip your head, it's straight. But anyway, the humble bumble stitcher is on this, and she's done with the Jan Hong. Wow. She did Betty, Betty Ross, and she had just said, you know, what is anybody, everybody else doing? Are they doing it all on one piece or in? So I said I was because I was going to put a revolutionary quilt. Uh-huh. Next day, she's like, God damn, John Hancock, wow. out and done. I don't understand. <laughs> Did she stay up yeah. all night long doing it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you quilted an entire quilt. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, so, I didn't quilt it. I uh, pieced yeah. it. Pieced it. And then my other whip is uh, Lincoln of the carrot. Oh, I can't wait sampling. to see how far you got on him. I, I, just, I haven't nice. got too far. You got well, two I finished, more lines. I finished, yes, and I finished this. Now I'm on here, and then he'll have another line. And yeah. So I have um, three more lines to do before Lincoln. Is this right. Ada? Yes. You're doing that one on Ada. Yeah. So that's that one. And he's going on into Civil War quilt. And then I have one more whip 
which is still having problems with her face. <laughs> Teresa's United We Stand. Oh, Teresa which is Kogan. the one I put three more stitches in. <laughs> Those count. And the, the hash, we're doing a so long with this, and the hashtag, hashtag for that is hashtag SWTS United, I think. And yes. I've done a little more on her face and hair. Oh, her face is so. looking good. Yeah. It, I guess it's the fabric. I just don't I think see it, it is. I think it is because that's where it's a little tannish yeah. in that color right yeah. there. I think that's what's happening. Oh, maybe maybe that's it. Maybe I just do it out here because I can see it now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> natural lighting. And it does wonders. That is my whip. The other style, though, that we have going is um, a Stitch for Sweet Freedom by Lindy Stitches. And so that's this one. And the hashtag for that is um, SWTS Freedom. And a lot yeah. of people have been stitching this now. And oh, she's also going in that Lincoln in the um, well, the suffrage the quilt. I am doing two of these. Oh, yeah, remember? Oh, the that's suffrage right. And the Civil War. And the Lincoln da Civil War one. Daisy Lincoln. Barking. Can she do. hears Lincoln? Yeah. Yeah. So cute. So. Is that, is that Linky? I'm going to talk about that on the giveaway. Okay, so um, that was the whips. Done. So why, does, so why does Captain Hook eat ready to eat meals? Why does Captain Hook eat ready to eat meals? Because uh, no. he can never use a pan. Peter Pan. Funny. <laughs> funny, 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 funny. Because he can never, it'd be funnier if it was because he could never catch a pan. That is what I yeah. say. Use a pan. Oh, yeah, because he can't use a pan. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, on that joke. <laughs> I put it on it. Um, okay, how about Stitchy Kindness? Stitchy Kindness? Anybody send that, you a mail? Is that a new one? Happy mail. Happy, oh, happy mail. Any happy mail? Did we get anything from Fat Quarter Shop yet? No. Really? That's, is that how is that Happy Mail? That's happy I don't mail. have to pay for insurance for Ed. Okay, yeah, that's Happy Mail. <laughs> I get it. I got some Happy Mail from Caroline, and she sent me this cute little card. Cute. And cute. she is the what is she? She is the <laughs> what is she? the pokey little pineapple remember i was oh yeah and she knew i was doing those needle books so she sent me some lady dot creates prim um lace lace oh beautiful very good i don't know if you can see that very good yeah you can see it and so i got that and i you froze where did you get it? Where did you get it? And she's Cheryl. looking for jokes. I'm talking. Cheryl, is she there? You're frozen. You're you frozen. make that crap up. <laughs> I guess kidding. we'll find out when we watch yes. it back. Okay, um, Hall. Do you have any Hall? I love it. It's the best Hall ever. <laughs> From Stitcher Express. Century Express, I got. Did that come here? Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. This came when I was. Oh, you got your constitution. Yeah. We the, the constitution. people. And oh, what is she, it? She is going. She's going yeah, on that. It is. When I restitch, I'm restitching her on that, and that's 18 count Ada. Ooh, I like this. Yes. Yeah. It comes in even weave and linen. <laughs> I have the even weave. Do you? Yeah. What are you stitching on it? Right now it's just sitting there. Okay, but what are you gonna stitch on it? Lady of Freedom or yeah. Mirabilia? Yeah. yeah. Um that's cool. I'm not done. Okay. And then um oh I forgot to remind you today's 30. 
Thursday. Check Clay by Kim's Etsy shop. Oh, great. Thanks. Clay by Kim. Bye. I got to go there now. <laughs> yeah, I, you can. Oh, well, you can go there <laughs> on your other. So I got this adorable <coughs> beetle minder. Is that a ladybug? Yes. Cute. Isn't that cute? Very it is cute. cute. I'm so scared to use it. It's so Why? Cute. It's so cute. I like the little back. That's cute, too. And then, Cheryl, wait till you see this. So I went to Lady.Create. She's, she's in um, Modesto. Yeah. And I got some grubby toast ribbon. Cute. Stout. Stout. Oops. Very nice. And... We, I think we have this down there, or you have this in the quilt room, and this is like a ribbon that's... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And, yep. and I have it's a roll of that. Up. Yeah. And it's grunged up. And then I thought this was the most adorable thing. And so there's, there's a shot glass, and there's uh -huh. little buttons in it. She made those little pins. And look at the top of that. Remember we made those wreaths? Oh, yeah. We made those wreaths. Yeah. So that's like a plug for it. So now, so cute. So now I figured, well, you know what? I have my shot glass from the FBI when I had to go over there and shoot the Uzi and didn't yeah. think I needed to because I didn't have a license to shoot. And they still right. me. So I could go to the guest shop or the gift shop. And then I have the Secret Service one. So that's what I can use. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't drink. Right. Oh my gosh, Daisy's barking because of Scout. Scout Scout's stop. trying to play with Lincoln. We need to get his zapper. Hey, Scout, come here. Um, come here. Not really. I'm not going to zap her. Um, hey. Okay, sorry guys. Oh, jeez. So, um. Okay, joke time. No, okay, joke. What do you call a bull when he falls asleep? What do you call a bull when he falls asleep? Yep. What do you call a bull when he falls asleep? A bulldozer. A bulldozer. That's good. That's good. Well, if you if you remember, um, Emily C had the yeah. duck derby. Yeah. And I don't know if you watched her. Um, are you getting method, your? If you bought. Are you getting if your? You bought, uh, are you? I just have my tattoo? but I won. Am I what? Your tattoo? No, I'm not getting a tattoo. I'll take you. She almost got to enough that that farm girl Michelle had to. But I'll she take didn't. you to get a tattoo. I am not getting a tattoo. I won't even leave the house. I know. I scold you when you do. Maybe I'll bring one. Here. <laughs> um, I scold everybody. Don't leave the house. Everybody stay. I only have one lung. Our sister posted that the COVID disease was anywhere. only only a media disease, and I said, "Oh, good lord!" <laughs> it's like, no, I have one lung. Everybody, stay home. Um, Me? Older sister, oh, oh, not oh. you. The other older sister. You're not <laughs> older than me. No, I okay. Keep coming so out. I won. <clears throat> Emily sees duck. I'm sorry. Um, Emily C's Duck Derby um, prize and actually I won twice. The first time I won, I won my quilt. So she read <laughs> so you she won had your own did quilt? a redrawing. I, yes, but she did a redrawing, drawing, and so somebody else won the quilt. I mailed that to her. And um I won a thirty dollar gift certificate from Teresa Kogut's Creative Women's Shop. <laughs> So I got from her shop, I got the first yeah. prize cow. This cow. He's first Very prize. Cute. So super cute. And this little she put the quilt on it. Yeah. These are from Bloom, you know, like um North Lawrence, Ohio. Blossom Bucket. Right. Yeah. So they're super cute. So they're gonna go in our quilt. Um and I got I got the lot last cow, and I think that's all my haul. That's all you won was Teresa Kogut. Yep. Yeah, but I kind of won twice. 
Okay. That's, that's what I thought. It's not over yet. I mean, not only Teresa. I felt like I won the clay by Kim because it, it's hard I to mean, get I mean, I take Teresa any day. <laughs> yeah. That's what Emily said. I know you're going to like this, Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> And then Teresa starts cracking up. She goes, oh, no, Cheryl, whatever. <laughs> and I've just been watching my um, regular floss tubers. And so one last thing we have to do. Is a is joke. A, no. Yeah, give uh, us another joke. Okay, give us another joke. I, I'm sure you didn't bring the cowbell. What's a ghoul's favorite flavor? What's Who, what? His favorite flavor? A What's ghoul. A ghoul? Yeah, a ghost. What's this? A ghoul? Goulash? Uh -uh. I don't know. Lemon and slime. What? Lemon and slime. Oh, I thought you said women and slime. Lemon and say, slime. That is inappropriate. I didn't even <laughs> get that. Um, giveaway? Last week's giveaway. Yeah. The, the keyword was mistletoe. Yeah. And they were going to get, what were they going to get? <laughs> was it the pattern or the No, it the was the a 25 count Lagana oh, right. cloud. Oh, sorry. And the, and the DMC floss. Oh, right, right, right. For the okay. Mistletoe Lane. For the Mistletoe Lane. Um, which is, a, and so they'd have to purchase the pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. I'll list all that stuff below. Right, right. And um, the winner is, the winner is, you don't have the cowbell either. Bing, 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 bing. That we were. I mean, we literally to. went out to eat and I ran in the but house. You knew before. <laughs> you probably did. I could just see you. I did. And I would have never, I can't even get up off the couch without saying, okay, we need five minutes to let me breathe. <laughs> Um, the giveaways mistletoe, the winner is KJ Mueller. Yay, KJ! She said, KJ said, you are also hilarious, and mistletoe is our state flower. Oh, wow. So, KJ. What state is she from? I don't know. We'll find KJ, out. KJ, what she state emails, are you from? <laughs> when you email us in the drop down, it'll be, uh, actually, Cheryl, you have that there at the house, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Oh, if you'll email Cheryl, then she can get that out to you. And you'll get the 25 count Lugana and DMC thread pack. But if you wanted to stick to this, you'd have to um, get the pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. Yep. Um, our, uh, the only other thing we're doing is the prim stitch along, which is Lori Holt uh, being my bonnet. And I think published by so Emma, but we're waiting for the pattern. But, yeah, and and it's did you already cute. mail out the floss and the yeah thing? yeah so all that's mailed out so um we should get that in sometime hopefully before you come up here yeah because it's not exactly. downloaded hopefully um can't think so if anybody has I feel much better today me, does anybody have advice I told you. <laughs> what'd you tell right. me I told you that my only problem with Kaiser is. I'm limited to live wherever Kaiser is, unless I oh, switch, right. you know? Yeah. So, right. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, bring it with you guys when you come down and you can go over with it with John and Wendy, because are they old enough to be on it yet? No. no. Oh. I know, only you are. I mean, let me, let yeah, me know but what I you mean, learned, I don't, I didn't do it. My mom's right any... around the corner too. My other mother's right around the corner okay. too, so. I don't, I just go the easy route. I was already on Kaiser anyway, so. Right. And they just have a really good plan for old people. Well, and that's the thing. And we they have all my lung, they have my lung. And they <laughs> we have could your just lung. stick to in my rib, in my in rib. rib. Providence. It'd be easier just to stick to Providence because we already know and it's already really close. Yeah. So. And, and your, and does your doctor, um, Let's talk about that for a minute, the thyroid thing in your doctor. Oh, you don't remember the test she has you take, though, had you take. Because no, it's she's I'll, a function. Yeah, I will when I get this result back, I can tell you. It's not the TH3 or the TH4. It's something beyond that. Right. And, but she's not just a regular, she is no. a medical doctor. But she is she's a medical also doctor. A functional, functional doctor. 
functional yeah. mood. Yeah. So, so she um, that's also deals with um, like she take instead of typically um, doctors, you come in with a cold and they give you stuff for a cold. But if you're chronic with a cold, instead of just giving you the stuff for the cold, they go to the reason why you're getting the cold. And yeah. so and they check um, your macros. They, check, they do a test for all your macros. Yeah. Yeah. So it gets Makes a difference. really into detail in knowing, like, this is probably too much information for my sister to know. So, Colleen, you need to not listen. But somewhere in my brain, um, I Ray, have. Amen. I have like this, Fog. no, no, I, um, part of my makeup is, you guys are just laughing and I'm serious. I'm not, I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm anxiously listening. So, 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 so somewhere in my brain, somewhere up there, you like me, I can't look at Colleen. <laughs> I have to block her out. You make, um, you know, your body makes serotonin. Well, what my yeah. body does when, when I'm stressed is it uh -huh. makes too much of the other of what causes you to fight or flight. And so that's what triggers no my anxiety attacks, which I never knew. Oh. And um, so uh, that's interesting. There's not a whole lot you can do about it, um, but in your adrenal gland or so it's somewhere from else? there not from dad not from our, our not from life and childhood um it's probably it. some of both because my body otherwise is, i have has, the same brain my body is probably adapted to the trauma and so this yeah. is what it does I'm now hoping. when i'm yeah. feeling stressed like all of this covid and all that stuff has stressed me out and so it makes me anxious and so i me have too. to more than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's, she has one uh, vitamin she's going to give me that I can take when, if I start to feel that way, but otherwise <laughs> I just have to deal with you. You used to like, it's crazy. You like, to deal with me. Deal with her. <laughs> Did you, I'm not even there. I'm I used to give you Flintstone. I'd give you more than one Flintstone vitamin. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> I'd sneak two to you. you. She messed you up. I it's interesting up. to me because I am, I'm, I'm a really big empath. And so I feel all the emotions all over. And so I've had to, with this COVID stuff, find different coping mechanisms than yeah. what I'm used to doing right. to kind of address the over inundation of like just feelings. We that can't watch, and we can't watch place. TV. We can't yeah. watch like I gotta, media. I gotta, I gotta, I have oh, to yeah. limit how much media I'm taking in. Right. And can, you, you, I mean, I believe that COVID is real, but I still, I can't, it's a, there's only so much that I, I mean, I can't do, can't, I can't control exactly everybody. Can't I can't fix same it. thing I, same thing I'm doing. And, and partly because right. Although Sarah, I, was, Sarah. I was telling her that when it's interesting when I get out and work in the garden or, you know, I do some manual labor, go, get out and exercise. And she's like, right, because you're yeah. really not more than more serotonin than you are the other. Serotonin? Yeah. And so if I, serotonin, right? It, I can't remember. Serotonin is the one that, that makes the happy you sleepy one? or no? Which one? Oh, Whatever that's it is adrenaline. That, but no, adrenaline makes you well, what go. Is adrenaline one? What is the adrenaline one? Adrenaline, adrenaline is your fight one. or flight. I know, I know what hormone you're talking about. Endorphin. Endorphin one. Yeah. yeah. Well, and Did exercise the, does the, the same yes, thing. Get yeah. No, Which is why I can, okay. if okay. I exercise more and get outside, I feel better because it's building you, up you that. You do, though. You, you've been exercising. Yeah. yeah. Well, I haven't At been, least you have been now. walking. You've been walking, yeah. you've been working in the garden, and I don't yeah. know why that's not considered exercise. Sometimes no, I found like, I just write down my emotions, whatever I'm feeling, and I put them like on a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle, and I'm like, okay, these are the emotions I'm feeling for me, specifically, yeah. directly impacting my life. And then this side is the emotions that I'm feeling for like everything else out there that that's I can't control is. that I yeah. just can't control. Yeah. And even just the simple act of doing that and writing it down just kind of helps. 
at least, you know, my brain know where everything right. is. And I'm, not, I'm empathetic. But if you have somebody that's super empathetic, it makes you try to balance it. And so I come off as like not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, um, uh, that's what I do. Is that right, Don? That's yeah. what she does. That's what she does. Oh, and then I, if I stitch, I listen to floss tube or yeah. I, so, so going forward, what I'm going to be doing is um, the Lori Holt Granny Chic. Remember I got that last time, last yeah. year. So I'm going to start working on some of those applique blocks. Well, tomorrow Ed is working. So I am going to be sewing. <laughs> hey, cool. Uh, did you do James's thing today or check that's it out? What, no, that's oh. what I'm doing tomorrow. Oh. That's my plan. Um, so what, oh, what I was going to say is it's, there's a lot of people that have that sleepy. It's just a functional having a doctor that's not just, because it's not the doctor's fault. No, um, no. Oh, no. Not at all. That's part of the functional, the functional yes, medicine. Yes, in fact, the she, was saying it even, behind it. she was saying even the sleep apnea might um solve some of the issue of anxiety because i'm not sleeping you know i'm not sleeping the way i should be so i've been yeah. sleeping so good but i have a referral to go see one too because i have the <gasps> gas which yeah. i always thought was night terrors you can do them at home yeah they send tests. they'll send me i know but yeah. i got i got the referrals i have to go meet with somebody first and yeah they already know I won't meet with them. They have to talk to me on the phone. Ask Cheryl. It's all cool, huh? Remember when we went and got my prescription? And they know if I get COVID, they will come to me. I will not go to them. You just bring the oxygen here. I know how to use the oxygen thing. I know how to, you just, my bed will go up and down just like a hospital bed and I won't have any cold next to me coffee. Right? Uh, except for me. So I'll be sitting you. next to you talking. Yeah, but you're Are you okay, so Colleen? Me. But I did feel really my i feel real i felt really crappy yesterday remember yeah um and i thought well i'm getting a summer cold or something because i haven't been around any covidites so yeah. <laughs> so i was like How do, i just got it i just got it in spite of myself <laughs> and then i'm like okay get over yourself so i took a mucinex she's last so night i think it was allergies fine. they mowed the lawn last night oh was yeah that fun. was it yeah Good thing you're not here. Boy, I'm telling you. Yeah. I saw a tree fall on my cottage. <laughs> you should have heard so. it from the inside. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet you went flying out there. I'll have to check. Um, Daisy, give away Daisy. for next week. Go ahead. Daisy hit under Daisy the couch. Went. Oh. That's crazy. Um, I was thinking give away for next week i think i'll make a needle case okay yay a needle book where's my needle book i'll make a needle book because i have all kinds of um stuff now she lost it i lost it but we'll make it <laughs> i'm not making the quilt um yeah you that's probably i know poor cheryl you're gonna be so hey, you want to put it up there better yes the need i'll make a needle book so if you want Please. A needle book. Say, um, tell us what book you're reading. Yeah, tell us what book you're reading. All right. Put the word book in it. Yeah, book because otherwise. Put the word book in it and tell us which what what you're reading. Otherwise, I will have anxiety. <laughs> I won't know the keyword. <laughs> if you're not reading a book, then oh, yeah. just say I'm currently not reading I'm any not books. Reading but them. tell us something else that you're doing apart yeah, from cross stitching. Yes. Very good. And next, hopefully next week we could talk to you about the Prim series, Sal. But um, it, it's on Fat Quarter Shops um, Plus Tube, and I'll link it below so you can learn more about that. I'm anxious to start that right it's now. It's super cute. I'll like have this figured out. Stuff. Oh, we don't, and Cheryl, you're not allowed to enter, so I don't want to know about Medicare, and you already do know. And I know that you all don't need to want to be on it all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know with health care prices. Oh. We all want to be on it. So I, I found something. One more thing. Wait, I found something. Wait, wait my turn okay. first. Okay. okay. <laughs> I got a message on my phone today from Walgreens uh -huh. saying that I had my prescriptions are ready and they had a problem with my insurance. I said, yeah, I bet you do because I don't have any. 
And they said, uh -huh. well, your inhaler just went up from $200 to $1,256. Did you just say, did you just laugh? I, just I laugh, said, well, I for guess one, I'm not breathing. For one yeah. inhaler. One inhaler. That is so ridiculous. So is this Bariva? No. It's a uh, Wix, 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 mm, I can something say, or other. <laughs> So then what? they text me back later and they said they found um, an insurance, you know, like good RX or something, got it down to $229. Makes, t oh. makes it sound cheap. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, That's nuts. That's what, seriously crazy. What's crazy, crazy to me is that time we, I had that UTI Yeah. and I had to get no, it wasn't. It was something else. I had to get a pain pill. My back, a sciatica, something. Remember, and I, they right. gave me tramadol? Okay. And then then they also gave, I had to get a regular prescription or something. So my regular prescription was like $20 for three months. The pain pill, the pain med. The narcotic. 90, the narcotic was 99 cents. Yeah. So it's cheaper to get yourself drugged up than it is to and then we wonder I mean, why we have drug issues in this country yeah right. i was appalled this is i don't know i what think was... it's just all of it too like i've been i'm going to a chiropractor because i i have a a disc that's inflamed in my back and so i went in and they ran my insurance just to give me the cost of what it was going to be for my treatment plan for all of that and stuff and literally they're like you have a hundred dollar copay per visit but our visits only cost 50 bucks so you can pay cash if you want or yeah right but I'm like, why would you ever run it through insurance that yeah. way? Like, that's yeah. just crazy. She And he's like, they might as well have just said that they don't cover chiropractic care. Yeah. Right. How a lot dumb. of times they don't. But then I, I people that don't do. think about it, that they just assume, and the if you're going to somebody that doesn't tell you the cost difference of with and without insurance, yeah. Yeah. maybe Microsoft you just go covered. with the insurance and you end up paying more. Microsoft. I want to know why it could go from one thousand two hundred and fifty-six dollars down to two hundred and twenty-nine. Yeah, and it was never hours. that. You and I, I've gone with you. Through, I've gone yeah. with you through the drive-through to get yours, and I think it's still expensive. It is. But yeah. um, See, I would just have to buy. It's I all would, about though. profit. I just wouldn't take it. It's all about profit. It's all about profit. Yeah. But I have to breathe. I yeah. No, you don't. Okay, you're right. I don't. <laughs> you can just say I'm done. I'm done breathing. <laughs> done with that. I'm not paying that, that price. <laughs> Let's uh, all move to Canada. Yeah, and they probably only pay a portion of the CPAP. Yeah, yeah. what are you gonna do? Oh my the god, CPAP's you're gonna have to buy the CPAP. It's oh yeah, I have to buy it. Yeah. They're not cheap. Good thing you're rich. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because your husband's retiring. <laughs> yeah. <that's the> thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh sorry guys we got off track there but oh well um they love it probably not all that but um so anything more no plans yeah. you're doing sewing you're working and i'll probably do yep. more stitching um, since i'll be down there on vacation oh that's and bring some for wendy yeah if those patterns come Bring, bring her one. Otherwise, find one to give her. The yeah. snowflake or something. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. I, but I think their stores are open out here. Are they? Just wear your mask. Wear your mask. Yeah, yeah the city mask. of Boise, the mayor in Boise has mandated masks. So yeah. you have to wear masks anywhere you go in Boise. But if you're outside of the city of Boise, which, you know, could be like across the street. Yeah. Their cities haven't required it, and it's not mandated by the governor. So, right. I right. would still wear it. I don't personally. go any. I don't go anywhere. I don't go anywhere. I don't go anywhere without my mask. Did I go Me bye neither. bye yet? Have I gone in the car? You've gone in the car just to, just. Oh, to, that'll be interesting uh, to see the diseases we get from our masks now. Yes, you made me go in for you. Say that again. It'll be interesting what? to see the diseases we get from wearing our masks. Oh well, yeah, because <laughs> we gotta wash them. You know, I mean, I mean, if you're not washing your, if you have a washable mask and you're not washing it, please do so now. Yeah. Well, I mean, clearly, wash, I mean, they have to tell it. people to wash their hands. <laughs> I, yeah, but, apparently. Like, and I found I didn't do mine right, though. Doctors and nurses wear masks like eight, 
10 to 12 hours a day and yeah. they're not dying from wearing masks. And you already throw things off. Like if you had an oxygen thing on you, you'd be throwing oh. it off. You throw your retainers off. You'd be... I lost my. I wonder if you're going to keep on your uh, CPAP. What? I lost it. I lost it's my. It's probably body. under the bed. It probably is, or over by the. Who knows? Yeah. I Maybe Pookie it got it. Throw it. Maybe the cleaners will find it. Who gross. Keep my head. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, love you. Love you. All right, last two. Drive and drive safe Monday. All and right. We'll see you soon. Love Bye. you guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. Yep. So, click it. That one or that one? Oh my gosh! I swear you do this just for the I, extra content. Click. Yep, right there. No, I don't. I, I can't see it now. What does that say? Do you say want yes. to?